Hey folks, good afternoon. It's Ben Capozzi with the Main Street Gardener and it's uh, Wednesday, December 14th and I'm kind of racing against the setting sun here. So uh, today I'm going to give you a twofer. I'm going to plant two plants in one video. Um, of course, they're uh, apple trees. What else? Um, they're actually two, uh, two varieties from the 1960s. Uh, one is Hardy Cumberland, which uh, was actually bred at my alma mater, Virginia Tech, in 1961. And the other one is a uh, Swiss variety uh, known as Rubinet um, in Switzerland. I believe it's called a Rafzuben, um, which sounds pretty cool. Um, the Hardy Cumberland is um, generally regarded as pretty carefree and well suited for um, the south where I am. Uh, it's a mid-season apple, so September to October, so I've got a spot uh, that's perfect for it. And then the Rubinet is by all accounts a pain in the butt to grow. Um, I actually, uh, apparently, I don't know if I only got one stick of it um, back in March when I was grafting or if I had other grafts and they failed, but I have one um, plant and it's uh, actually grafted onto Siberian crab, uh, which is great because that's a uh, European uh, crab that's uh, frost and winter hardy, so perhaps the Rubinet will feel more comfortable on that. And uh, the hardy Cumberland is on uh, Antonovka, which was the uh, standard uh, Russian rootstock that I used. Um, for almost all my trees this year. Um, so anyhow, let me get them, let me show you them real quick and then I'm gonna get them in the ground. All right, so this is the Hardy Cumberland. I grafted it on the 18th of April and it's actually gonna go right here between a uh, jellyflower sweet and a crow's egg. This is gonna go right here. And then the Rubinette, let me show you that, it's quite tiny. <coughs> I just got this little stick of cyan wood and only produced this one branch, um, which is fine. That's uh, still uh, enough. The uh, the little Siberian crab is down here. I grafted this bad boy on uh, April 20th. So, uh, and it is going to go right there. It's going to go uh, right here between a, uh, what is this, crow egg or jellyflower sweet? I can't remember. Oh, Virginia Beauty, doy. Sorry, it's going to go here between the Virginia Beauty and the Winter Banana. It's gonna go right there, and at the base of it is actually a uh, autumn olive that uh, will hopefully, if that takes, um, it should. I had it in pots. I just want to get it in the ground a couple weeks ago, but um, that'll help provide some uh, nitrogen for it. So anyhow, uh, and if you're looking at these and you're thinking, man, this is a really tight placing, yes, it is. But I'm doing a fairly intense uh, experiment here in backyard orchard culture. So let me get them in the ground, and I'll be back. All right, folks, just to wrap this up, here's the hardy Cumberland. It's in the ground. I, uh, I may come back in tomorrow and just take off these little spurs here, these, this side branch. These are from Antonovka, so that's not what I want. So uh, when it wakes up in the spring, it can just focus all its energy on growing more hardy Cumberland. And then the Florina, sorry, the Rubinette, my bad. Um, Florina is elsewhere. The Rubinette right here quite tiny we'll see what it does um, I hear it's like this amazing tasting apple if uh, if it doesn't take uh, it's not the end of the world that's okay um, at the very least if it gets any bigger maybe I can overgraft it but we shall see all right so those are the two apple trees well named variety apple trees I planted today just real quick I'll show you something else that I did if we head down here out of this part of the orchard which is getting pretty packed and over here a lot cleaner I actually just uh, cleaned up this fence line today and uh, put nice straw mulch on everywhere but you may not be able to see but there's a holly bush there um, for they're very slow growing but eventually it'll be great for the, uh, the little birds which you can even hear over here in this brush pile they populate it every winter so I'm gonna give them some permanent brush to hang out in and, but uh, there's wild plum, uh, American wild American plum, and then a crab apple, and then a wild plum, and then uh, another crab apple and a wild plum, crab apple. It goes all the way down to here. And then there's my kid. So I gotta go. I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, Lily.